Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. So a few changes on the V2 recently. I have installed a Nevermore V6 air filter filtration system. And so that's in there with some activated charcoal, which I've purchased online. And uh, that's working well. I've got it tied into the same pin as my bed fans. So basically all four fans activate at once. Um, so the two fans and the Nevermore and then the two bed fans on either side. Thanks to Kyle Devore on Modder for modifying the Chirpy Dragon Burner tool head. I am beta testing a new version of the Dragon Burner tool head. Um, I cannot provide a link to the new version because it's still in a closed beta, but um, know that Chirpy is always working on modifying and improving on the tool head design. Um, and uh, thankfully I get to participate in the, the early beta tests. So the, Kyle has... Th um, gracefully gone and modded the tool head to replace the Voron logo with my own uh, logo here at the top of the tool head. So you've got the old guy melts plastic uh, logo there. And I've added in the G2SA extruder, thanks to Jared C and company and all the Voron design team, but especially Jared for his work on the Galileo 2 extruder. And so this is the standalone version of the Galileo 2 extruder. It does sit a little bit um, longer in the y-axis. Uh, and so one problem I have with the particular mount parts that I'm using is the um, EBB36 mount plate that I have behind there has these two feet that normally should be able to connect with the, uh, let's see if I can get in here. Yeah, there's this little gap here. Uh, which wasn't there when I was using the Sherpa Mini Extruder previously because it was not as deep as the uh, G2SA. So I need to basically print some spacer parts in order to um, fill that gap and have those feet connect to the X carriage mount. Uh, but other than that, the extruder has been working very well for me so far. I've only printed a few prints with it. Um, and the reason for that is because my belts, my AB belts here are riding up on the, let me see if I can make it happen, but they're riding up on the bearing stack on the, the front idlers here. These are the Ramalama 2 uh, front idlers. And if I do a home X, let's see if it'll go. And then home Y. That's not gonna do it now, is it? All right, well, this particular motion didn't trigger the belts to ride up, but take it from me, um, they are in fact um, riding up on the bearing stack during prints. And so I do have replacement belts on the way um, from a local supplier here in Canada, but they're not scheduled to arrive until next week. And so until I get the new belts in place, I'm uh, being very careful about minimizing the amount of prints that I put through the printer, um, as I don't want to uh, the belts to be a problem. You can see, if I zoom in a little bit here, you can see that the belts are getting chewed up um, as they traverse the uh, the idler stack. And I'm confident that it's not a problem with the, the front idlers themselves. Um, there's an issue here where the belts were, were not uh, uh, tensioned properly. And so they ended up riding up on the bearings and the pulley and um, were getting chewed up that way. So. Um, keep your tension on your belts um, proper at all times. Um, don't over tighten, but you want to be sure they're not too loose either. That was my problem, and so it was entirely my fault. But more belts are on the way. Until then, I'm going to minimize my print jobs on the printer um, and maybe work on some of my other printers that I have uh, ongoing. So, But for now, um, these are the changes. Uh, upcoming next on the V2, I plan on modding the gantry to an all-wheel drive mod, so four motors, in addition to the two LDO 2804s that I have as the AB motors at the back. The AWD gantry, or the AWD gantry that I'm going with is the um, mod from a tiny shell script, so thank you for his work and uh, whoever else has participated in that, the, testing that mod. But that mod will have another pair of um, LDO 2804 motors using um, plates at the front. So they were going to replace these Ramalama 2 front idlers with um, some motor mount plates at the front 
and then the AWD mod from a tiny shell script has rear tensioning of the AB belts on the rear motor mounts. So um, that's a fairly major upgrade and I do have, like I said, belts on the way. So um, look for that change probably in the coming week or two. But uh, for now, um, like I said, happy with the uh, installation of the Nevermore V6, the updated Dragonburner V8 beta tool head with my own logo and the G2SA extruder. So all good things coming to this printer. Anyway, uh, look forward to your comments below. Thanks for watching. And uh, we're approaching 900 subscribers. Um, I hit 500 subscribers only on July 28th of this year. That was just a couple of short months ago. So I really want to thank the community for supporting me with your views and your subscriptions. Um, once I hit a thousand subscribers, then I, you know, I graduate to the next level of YouTube content creators. Um, and uh, it's been a great ride so far. So I really appreciate all of your comments. Um, I make mistakes. I don't know all the answers but I hope to share my experiences, both positive and negative with you so that you can learn and hopefully not make the same mistakes I have. Um, and yeah, thanks again for liking and subscribing and watching all the videos. Um, it's been a really great, uh, a really great experience so far. That's it for now. See you next time.